Yes, yes, uh, I will uh, wrap it up, I suppose. I get that very often, wrapping it up hey, on the nudist, and not sexual nudist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that very often, wrapping it up on the nudist, and not sexual nudist. My clothes will be hey, unsheathed. Hey, and she the dog all the way. Oh, not these clothes. Hey, this is a fine outfit I got from the South Asian Army for free. So, uh, be careful, kiddos. Um, I'd say it's about nudity. Um, every time that people want to get naked, um, and they're not used to getting naked, something wild would happen every single time. Um, I want to say that I, I'm the inventor of naked porch parties. I'm going to use anybody in here. Come on, now liven up, kiddos. You, 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 you guys are kind of ugly, but come on, liven up, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, even you there on the ground there, kiddo. Hey, so sexy. Getting scrum, it's all right. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, very punk rock. Um, <laughs> what are you doing with that picture? Yes. <laughs> so, um, every time that there's a naked porch party, park party, people are willing to get naked. There's only something weird that's going to happen at the end of every single night. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, every single night, something weird is going to happen. One barrier gets released, another barrier will be broken down. The clothing that we wear, the outfits that we wear, I want to say the scarf, the jacket, the pants, the duck, every single barrier that we have in our lives um, are a barrier. Look at ourselves. So, we're sitting here, this is in uh, Key West. Has anybody been to Key West out here? Oh, Key West is awesome. It's always, it is a party town. We're sitting inside uh, Key West at a local park. Quit talking! Hey, everybody, quit talking. You better be glad you're fucking retired, though. Talking oh, the yes. You gotta talk to the Talking to the mic. All right, here we go. Right, now talking to the mic. Here we are. So we're in Key West. We're having a naked park party with a bunch of kids that never get naked. And I'm the nudist. The only nudist inside this park. We're hanging out. <laughs> we're hanging out inside this park. Um, Oh, come on, get naked. Everybody get naked. It's 12, 13 deep. Get naked inside this one. <laughs> um, I'm sitting here. Everybody's getting naked. Hanging out. Drum circles happening. We got naked. What's your shirt? We got a little bit of beat going. Everybody's hanging out. And then all of a sudden, there's one man. His name is Wesley. He's not getting naked. I'm sitting in front of Wesley, ass naked, with my balls hanging over the drum. Come on, Wesley, what are you doing? Come on, let's get naked. What are you doing? Come on. Wesley comes up. Wesley finally gets naked. The man's well in doubt. Oh, what, what's your, what's your, why, why are you ashamed of getting naked at this point right now in front of us? I don't know. Well, okay. The police roll up. I'm not very well down at all. In fact, I would say I have a lower than average penis. So we're sitting there and the police roll up. I'm pulling my pants. That's a big black cop that comes out. And I'm pulling up, pulling up my pants in front of him. Like well, it's like a penis, but it's smaller. <laughs> True statement. <laughs> So the, for the first act out of the night, uh, one woman, uh, as the uh, police caravan is coming up to uh, haul us away to jail, the first caravan says that, well, you're all going to jail tonight. Me and my friend Richard are called out from this caravan, saying that, well, you two are over to the age of 27, everybody else is younger than you, you're all going to jail tonight, but you two are the ones we're looking for. Why well, talk them out of this? Talk them out of uh, taking us to jail. Talk them out of uh, hauling us away in captivity. And the woman kicks at the police car, smashing inside the door of the police car. Oh, smashed away. Uh, arrest will happen and follow right after this. Oh, the police are saying, "Hey, calm down, your friend." Oh, yes, I will. This doesn't happen. <laughs> she is taken away to jail. So we go on, 
um, uh, the police now let us out of captivity. Uh, me and my friends are walking down the street. Uh, Wesley walks up to a beautiful young lady and says, Oh, I think you're beautiful. Her six foot four gorilla boyfriend walks out of the side of the step, picking up Wesley up and crashing him to the ground. <laughs> And that's actually where this very crack in this uh, gym bay came from, was that smashing this man over the head in the Oh, I, I, I feel like the audience is dying dead now. Where is this? <laughs> Hold on, no. no, no, no. Hearing you. Oh, man. Yes, is it that hard to hear me? Yeah, my God. <laughs> I mic up we want. I feel like I'm getting like reverb in my ear while I'm trying to mic up. <laughs> yes, yes, keep going. Oh, yes. Um. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm bombing here, but this is my first time, so this for everybody. Yes. 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 <laughs> I was gonna say you spell it because it might be. All right. So this is like a, another story of my life. Um, I've been train hopping, uh, traveling the world, traveling across the uh, United States for about ten years, a little bit longer than ten years. Um, most of, most of my travels are uh, very poor travel. Um, asking for change, eating out of trash cans. Hello, girl. I think you're pretty, but what's in this trash can beside you? That happens every day. You spell it. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to you know me, girl, man. We're eating out of a trash can. I think you're pretty, but uh, this steak cheese sandwich looks way better than you do. It's like a daily fucking thing. I'm not even kidding about that. Like, yes. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm uh, train hopping from uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming to uh, North Platte, Nebraska. This happens to be out of happenstance. Um, me and my friend Richard are going across. We hop on a. Uh, you guys know what stackers are? Yeah. You know what a stacker is? Anybody else besides this piece of shit know what a stacker is? It's like, like uh, you know what a Contigo is, or like, they, you know, you see these like freight ships go across the bay over here, and they have those big huge containers on them? Yeah. That's a stacker. Those motherfuckers move like 80 fucking miles an hour. No fucking joke. They're crazy. And so you're like, I'm on, I'm on the stacker from Cheyenne, Wyoming. The cop just arrested me the night before, and this is what the cop says in his last words to me. Get the fuck out of my town, you motherfucker. And never look back. Peace, brother. And I get the fuck out of that motherfucking town. <laughs> Boom. So me and my friend are like, we're, hiding, we're uh, hijacking a train from uh, Cheyenne to Nebraska. And we get kicked off and the guy's like, we, <laughs> we get there. This is a long story, but it's an awesome story. So we get to like North Platte, Nebraska, and I tell Richard, hey, we got... Hey, fuck Nebraska. You guys like corn? Go fuck yourself. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. So anyways, like me and my friend. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Get back. Yes. Um, so yes, me and my friend are riding from North Platte, Nebraska. Uh, we get kicked off in a rail yard. We jump off and uh, we walk through a Walmart and a man, we walk up to a man and he's like, hey, do you guys, uh, well, we asked him for a ride. And he's like, yeah, I give you guys a ride. And yeah, cool. We get all the way to like uh, Durango, Colorado, and the guy ends up being a child molester. No shit. This is his last words to me as the police are hauling him off in handcuffs. Please watch after my dog and van. Holy oh, shit, I'm a fucking brand new owner of Van Dominium. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> fucking the shit. So now I'm driving across with this wiener dog. His name was Smudge, but I named him Dr. Frank Schmirkenschmuck. 
Can we, can, can we get like a little hoot for Dr. Frank? Yeah. Woo! Hoot, 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 you know what I mean? A little something, something. So anyways, like me and Dr. Frank Schmark and Schmark, my friend Richard, and like 12 other home bums that we met and fucking across the country, wrecked the van right out of the side of the, oh, hold on. You know this big bridge out here? What's this bridge called? The bridge. bridge. Talmadge Bridge. We drive across. This is after driving about maybe 6,000 miles across the entire country. We drive across the Talmadge Bridge, and I go across them with graffiti artists. And I'm like, that's my main art's graffiti. Um, we drive across, and I look across, and I was like, oh my god, look at this beautiful painting on the side of this Talmadge Bridge on that big, huge tower. I go, we have to go do this. Um, so me and my friend, we drive down, and they were all whiskey drunk, and I, I picked up maybe every home bum that's here in Savannah, Georgia. I got about 20, 10 people inside of my inside of my. I got to Florida. Fuck Florida. Florida's a bunch of assholes, and so are you. Yeah, you bunch of assholes. Yes, you bunch of assholes. <laughs> so we get over the Talmadge Bridge, over next to that building that has this huge, beautiful woman spray painted on the side of it. I go, I know a road trick. One road trick that I know how to do. Um, so I put the van in reverse, floor it, put the gas to the fucking floor. Uh, I look back behind me, threw, threw it um, and on the brake, uh, whipped it around into a 180, threw it in the drive while the car was not moving, or while the car was moving, by the way, it was not stopped at this time. Gassed it and then we just kept on going. Yeah, there's an uproarish roar throughout the whole entire van. And all, every single home bum that drinks whiskey and eats out of trash cans is excited for this. <laughs> yes, truly excited. This is the most fun they probably had in years. So after we get past this point, my friend Jose is a man that has seizures on a daily basis. No joke. He didn't tell us about this when we picked him up in Key West, Florida. This is about nine months ago. He had no telling of this. Uh, Jose says, oh, I can do a better road trip. Let's do it. So Jose jumps into the van, uh, puts the car into ignition, throws it into reverse. <laughs> Break. <laughs> the bums in the back, you know what I mean? The precious bums that eat out of trash cans every day. <laughs> so Jose tries it again, throws it back in reverse, hits the brake. <laughs> And we all look at him and go, God damn it, Jose, you don't know how to do this road trick at all. Well, now it's my turn to do it again for the second time. With a little bit more whiskey and a little bit more liquid courage, liquid, liquid testicles, as we like to call this man. Uh, I jump back into the driver's seat again. Well, boys, are you ready for another trip? <laughs> I got this one down. I throw it into reverse. I look behind me. I look behind me. Turn my head. Are you boys all right back there? And at that exact moment, I cocked the wheel just a little bit too far on this narrow road. I look back at the road and I say, well, I can still do this trick. To this point right here, when I realized that the van was gonna flip over into a swamp with 10 home bums in the back of it. God damn it, their trash can days are over right now. But guess what happened? The van was wrecked, but the trash can eating days are still here. So every bump you see here in uh, Savannah, Georgia, or anywhere here from Toluca, Alabama to Key West, Florida, they're still alive because of me. Yes, I can't get it.